I'm really just here to tell a story. A story told to me the same way it had been passed down through the generations of my family. A story that feels so important to share with the rest of the world. But then I ask, why? What's the big message here that makes this whole thing worth anyone else's time? What can people gain from watching? Is there even a good reason to? And why am I on the beach at sunset besides it looking absolutely stunning on camera? Is this just some personal vanity project where I show off the best parts of my life while conveniently ignoring everything else that makes me a normal guy? Is this too introspective? It's getting too introspective, isn't it? So four years ago, I started putting together this documentary about a kind of wild story from my family history. I mean, it's got mystery, murder, bar fights, plane crashes, theft. Uh, there's a bunch of pirates and uh, an abundance of rum drinking. But then COVID hit. So I've just been taking my time in the background trying to figure out exactly how to tell it. 1670, a fleet of ships head straight for the shores of Panama. Their intentions, devious. Their captain, ruthless. And in their wake, a mystery will be passed down for over 300 years. Well, I think what we need to do is go here ourselves. The National Archives in the UK have a lot of great maps that we need. Now, follow me and my team with some occasional stock footage as three amateurs try to make traveling the world today seem half as cool as it was in the age of pirates. Honestly, I think a lot of it is me. I, I don't like being in front of the camera. I personally prefer to hide behind it. And so... Hello everyone. This is the Black Chart web series. I'm Chris. I'll be your host on this inaugural episode. And uh, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe. Uh, apparently there's a bell that you're supposed to ring as well if you want to go ahead and do that. And I'll go ahead and get started. So I've been asked a lot lately, Chris, what's the deal with this documentary that you're putting together? I'm here to give you some concrete answers. What we are doing is a fully legit, definitely not made up, hunt for buried treasure. There's obviously going to be a lot of follow-up questions to that. Um, what is the treasure? Where is it buried? Why do you have the only answer to how to find it? But unfortunately, that's all the time we have today because this is about as much time as I'm comfortable being on screen. So hit that subscribe button and we'll go ahead and have some follow-up episodes to answer all your questions. So yeah, I don't know. At this point, I'm just really throwing everything I can at the wall to see what'll stick. What we need is some sort of unifying concept, you know, something that can bring it all together. I mean, the story has all these little teeny pieces and they just sort of fit perfectly. And it's like, what can we do to really express that in a way that makes sense to how this story is unfolding? Huh. 